It's coming up to 20 past seven. Well, as investors around the world watch their stock values tumble, there is some good news for home buyers this morning. Australia's biggest lenders, the Commonwealth Bank and Westpac, have cut interest rates on fixed mortgages. Now, CBA has knocked off up to 0.6 of a percent, Westpac 0.2. The move has fueled speculation the Reserve Bank will make an official rate cut. If that happens, we could see a reduction in the bank's variable interest rates as well. well. What's the prospect of that and what does it all mean? Finance expert Mark Burris joins us. Mark, good to see you. Um, no, no. Overnight, Ben Bernanke, the boss of the Federal Reserve, promised to keep America's official interest rates at zero for the next two years, mid-2013. Extraordinary stuff. Will our Reserve Bank be as generous? Well, if you look at the last statement that they made uh, this time last week, they became a little bit more dovish in their language. In other words, they're getting softening language coming out. I don't think just because the fixed rates have been reduced by both Westpac and CBA necessarily indicate that the Reserve Bank is going to reduce their, the variable rate. Right. Um, fixed rates are a reflection of what the price of money for the banks in the capital markets, in the, in the professional yeah. markets. If you notice, the, when CBA and um, NAB, if they reduce their variable rates, that becomes yeah. more important. But, but the professional interest rate market sort of is an anticipation of what the Reserve Bank might do. And sort of the pendulum has swung with a lot of those traders thinking, well, the RBA's got to drop them um, in the September board meeting. You don't think that's necessarily so? I don't think it's necessarily the case. My personal view is that the RBA should drop rates. Right. But I don't think that's necessarily the view of the RBA at this stage. Right now, I think we might have to wait a few more months for this. But I think if you're a person who's worried about your variable interest rate, one thing you could do right now is take part fixed yep. and part variable. So split it and hedge your bets. Okay. Because right. this is a bit of a conundrum right now. We don't know whether they're going to drop rates or not. Yep. What about on the other side of the, the coin as well with investors, uh, self-funded retirees who have had their super fund smashed if they're in a, if they're in a high risk share option and everyone should be looking at their super fund to make sure what option that they're in. Um, interest rates on term deposits, online accounts, will they fall? Well I think right now if you're a person who's relying on the interest rate you get on your term deposit, now is the time to lock in for 12 months. Right. Grab one of those interest rates, those 6.4s, those 6.5s, so one year term deposits and nail it right now. Okay, alright, get some certainty. Into Absolutely. It. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks Mark. All this. Here's Kylie.